بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اے ویری کامن مسکنسیپشن وز فاؤنڈ ریگارڈنگ اسلام اینڈ ویمن از دا نوشن دیٹ اے مسلم لیڈی مس نیور ریویل ہر سیلف مس نیور کم بفور ہر بردر ان لا اینڈ اٹ از سیڈ آن دا بیسس آف اے نیریٹو دیٹ دا پروفٹ سیڈ دیٹ دا بردر ان لا از لائک ڈیتھ ٹو ہر اینڈ کمنگ بفور ہم اور میٹنگ ہم فار ایگزامپل از ایبسولوٹلی پروہبیٹیڈ ناؤ ایف وی اینالائز دس دس نیریٹو Uh, and we put it in its proper perspective, we will come to realize that it has been interpreted out of its context. And I'll just read out these words, its words to you, which would be enough to show that the, the narrative is actually speaking of an entirely different matter. The words of the narrative are, and this is found in Bukhari, Uqba ibn Amir says that the Messenger of God said, refrain from entering upon women in seclusion. A person from the Ansar said, what is your opinion about the brother-in-law? He said, meeting the brother-in-law in seclusion is as lethal as death. So it is absolutely evident from this narrative that it's not saying that the, a lady should do parda or observe parda from her brother-in-law. She should, cannot come before her. The, the whole narrative is actually a pre, is, is suggesting a preemptive measure, a precautionary measure. And it tells us that Muslims in general, they should not meet uh, ladies uh, or, uh, uh, in, in seclusion. As because there is always a chance that base desires might dominate and something untoward might happen. So in other words, this, this narrative is actually suggesting that meeting women in private is something which can lead to grave dangers in this regard. And in this particular matter, since the matter of the brother-in-law, it can become even grave. So the Prophet has specifically pointed him out. So what is being said here is that meeting the brother-in-law or other uh, near relatives in seclusion could lead to something very bad or could bring the two into moral dispute. Now, of course, there are common sense exceptions to this. For example, if a doctor wants to meet a patient in private or a teacher wants to meet his or her student in private, these are, these are common sense exceptions. However, if there is no such thing and the issue is uh, that can be avoided, then of course it should be avoided. But the bottom line is that this narrative is speaking about sitting with women and talking to them in seclusion or vice versa with the opposite gender. As far as the brother-in-law is concerned, since women tend to get uh, very informal with them, so there is always an element that this could extend and should go to some, uh, some such situations which might cause moral disrepute and moral harm to them. So therefore, it is absolutely evident that this narrative does not say that a lady should observe parda or hijab from her brother-in-law, but what it says is that she should avoid not only meeting him, but all other people in seclusion, because this could bring them into moral dispute. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنْ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ